hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video we'll be learning how we can automate a graph using playwright and python so basically whenever uh, you will get a graph uh, then most mostly we'll be seeing this svg tag okay now what is svg tag in the dom um, so here if you open this website okay i will give the link in the description so you will see um, a graph uh, something like this so this is a typical graph where uh, it is denoting something we do not have to worry about what is this so what we have to do we have to fetch few information from this graph so it can be anything as per your requirement for now what we are trying to do we are trying to extract this 152 222 this whatever this events number is there we are just trying to fetch that okay so we have i think we have we can see like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 total 11 numbers are there in this graph so this events number this this text we just want to take now uh, now there are there could be several ways to do that you can take it one by one uh, and just create locator for each node and take it but uh, for this demonstration we want to do it in a uh, with the help of like we will not be doing um, forget about it just okay so this you got the understand what you have to do what is the objective right now let's do it in the pie chart okay so I have uh, created this template uh, I have created one file called test clear input dot pi and I have created one method test method that is test handle graph and uh, let me add uh, the URL Okay, so we have successfully navigated to the website. Now we have to come here. So basically, the, what is the problem here? The problem is like you, it, it's it's in the DOM structure. So if you just inspect this graph, you can see if you just expand this body tag, you'll be seeing here one thing called um, SVG tag, right? So whenever we'll be getting this SVG tag, so in that case, uh, if you try to use any xpath or uh, like right so in that case it would not work i mean normal xpath would not work so you have to use some some different way to handle it basically you have to create a xpath in a different way not not normal way so what do you mean by normal way let me show you so let's say you want to ins you want to get uh, this this particular node so this is you can see this is uh, if you hover over it it is highlighting this area right so you just need to get this graph so uh, you need to get this uh, element so you can do something like that you just create one x path let's create normal way in a normal way let's create it so we can give slash slash then svg and you can give uh, Uh, class equals to see this is looks this looks like a correct xpath but it is not working see there is no um, matching node is found but still we can see it's correct right so it should work but the problem is like SVG doesn't work like that so you need to uh, we need to we need to have some different approach so let's see that approach what is that so let me first find so what we want to do here we want to get these elements right so we can do one thing we can create one x path in such a way so that it gives us uh, all these elements whatever we want so 120 152 222 199 in a single x path okay so basically it would return us 11 matching nodes so how we can do that so first uh, let me show you these elements in this DOM so you can see this is the first element now if you uh, just scroll down you can see this is the second one now if you further scroll down it should be here in this one right so if you expand it you will get this one 199 like this it is given in this g tag right so and this g tag is coming under this svg tag right so let's let's see how we can write the xpath so this xpath is a bit complex so 
if you if you are not sure about how to write a simple XPath then first you should know that uh, but still I try to explain it in a, in a, in a very simple way okay so first what I would be doing I would be just uh, getting this element so slash slash star id equals to this one right so we got this element this is matching now we have to um, you have to come this svg tag right so in that case you get to write is dot star star give a star and write write local name or sorry name name equals to is vg right so this is matching name equals to svg now next next what so next uh, we have to go here in the text right so what we can write we can write slash slash uh, star local name text see what we are getting let's see so you can see we are getting these elements as well 0 500 1000 so it's actually returning us total 30 elements but we need only 11 elements right so we need to uh, now further uh, filter it out so let's see how we can do that so I think this is correct thing but first we need to um, okay so what we can do here let's remove this part so we have reached here now we have to go here okay so let's give this one like this so star local name okay now we can see uh, now we are getting correct one right so this is giving uh, first one is this one and this is returning something but it is here right so this is something we do not need um, okay. this is the first one second third fourth fifth and finally this one right and after that there is another element that is this one okay fine so we got the 12th element but we need 11 now right so we reach till here now let's do one more thing so we can see this we need this one right so uh, this element text element so we can do following sibling slash slash following sibling double column star and here we need to give local name again so this local name thing is like uh, for let me explain you later let me, uh, first get it yeah 
yeah so we can see 11 matching node is found so if I just hit it like this you can see all the uh, required elements we are fetching through this single X path right so now coming to this point what is this name so name is basically when uh, for the SVG tag first this all elements G element text element circle elements circle tag G tag and uh, text tag right these tags are coming under this SVG tag that is the root for this SVG elements right so for the first SVG one you need to write name and then for for next whatever uh, tags you are getting like circle or G for that you can use this local name function okay that's it so you just have to remember those these two things while creating xpath for uh, SVG elements okay now let me copy this xpath and put it here so this is our uh, what is this events list events list page dot locator this one so this this is giving us um, 11 nodes right so multiple nodes now if I just try to print here print event leads dot count it should return us 11 elements right now what next so next what we want to do we want to just print these numbers okay that's it so let's print it so simple uh, index equals to 0 and then um, while loop uh, while why I'm giving so many space while index less than events list dot count then what we want to do we want to print it so print event list dot init of index dot text content okay so we are just printing the values and after that we are incrementing the index for the for get for next one so index equals to index plus one that's it okay I think our code is completed I mean uh, the uh, objective we are trying to achieve here printing these values so that is uh, that is done so let, let's try to execute it and see what happens Just reset it and it is under miscellaneous and taste graph and taste no, this one and it's give a slow motion of 1500 milliseconds now let's run it so browser is launched and let's see So we can see the test pass. So there is no, there was no test actually because we have not given any assertions here. Uh, that we can do like we can create a list kind of thing and then we can assert it. So that's a separate task. So that I'm not doing here. Uh, but I hope you are able to understand how we can handle a graph which is having SVG tags in DOM structure, right? 
and uh, basically um, this is uh, this approach would be applicable for any kind of automation tool if we are doing with selenium as well then also this approach would be same because um, this is just the xpath that we are doing right because the remaining things it's same so for selenium you have to you have a different uh, way to handle these things right so you, there is a method called driver.find elements so from that you can create a multiple elements and you can do that so but here in playwright uh, the approach is like this you can do this like this way and um, now coming to the point like uh, why we are using the xpath only because see uh, the uh, the xpath just that we have created it's a dynamic xpath right or uh, we can say it's a complex dynamic xpath where it is returning us multiple not a dynamic xpath but uh, it's xpath which is giving us a multiple nodes and it's just not like you can uh, create a simple one one um, method element because that is not that's, that's not the best way to do that and if you now one more thing if you want if you can use a css selector here you can do that css will work I mostly I believe uh, that should work you can try it uh, okay even uh, we can give it a try but I think uh, for that the problem would be like uh, for CSS you have to use this kind of uh, thing like I mean uh, it's it's a bit tricky you have to you should have a good grip and then only you can try it and uh, I hope it is um, clear and how to do it how how we can handle this CSV elements but uh, you also can try with css that should work i believe okay now that's it for today's video and if you like the video please do like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching